This, in 2020-21, in 2020-21, this is further estimated, and I'm saying this is further estimated because the procurement is ongoing, and therefore I can't give you the final figure. This is further estimated to increase to 1,72,752 crores. The number of farmers benefited increased from 1.24 crores in 2019-20 to 1.54 crores in 2020-21. In the same way, Honorable Speaker, sir, in the case of pulses, the amount paid in 2013-14 was 236 crores. In 2019-20, this was increased to 8,285 crores. Now, it is at 10,530 crores. More than 40 times increase from 2013-14. The receipts to cotton farmers, cotton farmers, have seen a stupendous increase from 90 crores in 2013-14 to 25,974 crores. In I'm giving you data as of 27th January 2021. This is bound to increase from 90 crores for cotton farmers in 2013-14 to 25,974 crores in 2021. All the details in complete narration is available in Annexure 4 to my speech. Early this year, Honorable Prime Minister had launched the Swamitva scheme. Under this, a record of rights is being given to property owners in villages. Up till now, about 1.80 lakh property owners in 1,241 villages have been provided cards. I propose during 21-22 to extend this to cover all states and union territories. To provide adequate credit to our farmers, I have enhanced the agricultural credit target to 16.5 lakh crores in this year. We will focus on ensuring increased credit flow to animal husbandry, Pashupalan, dairy, and to Matsyakar, to the fisheries. We are enhancing the allocation to the Rural Infrastructure Development Fund from 30,000 crores to 40,000 crores. The micro-irrigation fund with a corpus of 5,000 crores has been created under NABARD I propose to double it by augmenting it by another 5,000 crores to boost value addition in agriculture and allied products and their exports. The scope of Operation Green Scheme that is presently applicable to only tomatoes, onions and potatoes will be enlarged to include 22 perishable crops. Around 1.68 lakh crore farmers, around 1.68 crore farmers are registered and 1.14 lakh crores of rupees trade value has been carried out through eNAMS, the National Agricultural Market. Keeping in view the transparency and the competitiveness that eNAM has brought into the agricultural market, thousand more mandis will be integrated with the ENAM. Honorable Speaker, sir, with all this, the Agricultural Infrastructure Fund would be made available to the APMCs for augmenting their infrastructure facilities. <laughs>